Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we discuss about the implicit object exception. Let's see with practical. Here I am using the Eclipse as ID. First I click on the file and then new. And take a dynamic my project. I just need here to write my project name and uh, simply I write my project name as uh, exception demo and click on the next next check the generate map.xml deployment descriptor and click on the finish my project displayed under the project explorer here and simply I explore it and I explore the web content right click click on the new and take a HTML file I need here to write my HTML file name so I'm giving my file name as uh, index.html press enter my index.html file is created here and uh, I'm taking here the form tag giving here the action equal calc dot jsp and close it I am using here the pre tag close it and uh, right here enter the first number I'm taking here the input type input type equal text giving here the name as the first press enter taking another writing here the enter the second number and taking another input type equal text giving here the name and the second close it taking here another input type as a submit and write here the value equals to div and close it and save it look here I am using the form tag and giving you the action cap.jsp when user enter two numbers first number into this uh, this input type text and second number into this input type text and click on the submit button the control redirect to calc.jsp I am creating, I just want to create a calc.jsp page for calculation of these two numbers. And I am simply giving you the value as a div, means I want to divide the value of first and second. So I right click on the web content, new, and take a jsp file, and delete it, I write here calc.jsp, press enter. I am taking here the JSP tag, declaring here a variable x and calling the implicit object request and then get parameter and passing here the parameter as a first and terminate with semicolon. Look here, the get parameter always return the string value and I want to store into the integer variable, int variable. So I need to convert the string value into the integer. So I am using here the wrapper class and parse int method to convert into the int. So I write here integer dot parse int and uh, I simply delete this and write here bracket. Okay copy and paste I simply delete here and write here the second and y variable taking a third variable int z and x divide by y value stored into the z calling here the implicit object out and print method to print the value of z terminated with semicolon ok and uh, I am just using here the page director attribute 
error page and passing here the error dot jsp page if any error occur into this page the error page directive attribute redirect to control error dot jsp if error not occurred on that case the value of z print onto the screen so i need to create error dot jsp page and just i right click on the web content new and take a jsp file i simply delete the file name and write here the error dot jsp and press enter okay taking here the h1 label heading and simply i write here error occurred okay and uh, save it and i save all the pages come to index.html and uh, right click run as run on server click on the next and then finish okay the apache tomcat started here and simply the index.html displayed with the help of browser onto the screen it is taking little time and uh, there is error what happened 90 required by tomcat already in use okay the tomcat is already in use so i first close it and uh, i just remove okay again run it and then finish term catch started here and uh, index.html will be displayed by the browser on to the screen okay and just i refresh it okay and uh, passing here the value 20 and uh, 10 click on the div what happened okay come to the calc.jsp and uh, the 20 value divide by 10 and uh, the division result store into the z variable and uh, print with the help of print method onto the screen i come to index.html again and simply giving here the zero means index are uh, divided by value zero error occurred so when i click on the div button the error occurred means the error page this is the error page and uh, h1 level heading error occurred displayed on to the screen because the calc dot jsp page occurred divided by zero exception so it will the error page attribute redirect to error dot jsp page and simply i close it okay i come here and taking another attribute is error page true save it i delete this message because i want to exact 
error message display onto the screen. So I am using here the tag and uh, JSP tag and uh, calling here the exception implicit object. We are discuss about this exception exception dot print stack print stack trace method and uh, I am simply write here response dot get writer method as argument terminated with semicolon and uh, save it with the help of this statement print stack trace method we will discuss we will display all the errors onto the screen and uh, I save it again come to index.html and right click run on server finish ok and uh, refresh it I am just passing here the value 20 and uh, 0 and click on the div submit button Look here, Java dot lang dot arithmetic exception divided by zero occur means the exact error displayed by the error dot JSP with the help of is error piece direct at directive attributes using here as a true and uh, exception implicit object of the GSP. Thank you friend. Please subscribe my channel and uh, like my video. Thanks for watching my video.